This is Silver Surfer on the NES. Um, this is a game that's been pretty popular amongst uh, Cinemassacre. James Rolfe, the angry, angry video game nerd, he's played this game uh, on the show, the angry video game nerd, and uh, James and Mike Mondays, where he had his friend Bootsy play it, and he fucking beat the whole game. Um, I threw that out there because he was mainly the one on YouTube who really popularized this game amongst like retro collectors and gamers and stuff. And when most of us really wouldn't have gave a shit about it, it's your average, uh, maybe not so average, 2D side scroller, top scroller shooter. But it's definitely one I wanted to play on Glenn Plays Mondays. Um, very, very challenging game. You're going to see me die a lot in this episode, so uh, <laughs> just prepare yourself. I'm going to try to give you some narrative on the Silver Surfer and everything. This level I'm the best at. I think it's the one everyone starts out at because it's the easiest one. Reptile. Reptiles. No one knows what I'm referencing when I say reptiles. The, the rip track short about animals. Go to RiftTracks.com, people. It's the people from Mystery Science Theater 3000. They, they're still doing their same things. Oh, I'm talking about Rift Tracks, and I just fucking died. That is the most pathetic screen you could ever see when you die on Silver Surfer. <laughs> talking about RiftTracks.com. I just thought I'd throw it out there, RiftTracks.com. If you're a fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000, go check them out. Um, Silver Surfer. <laughs> uh, what's there really to say about THE Silver Surfer? Um, as far as the character goes, I knew a little bit about him, but I never... I didn't like Fantastic Four growing up. I had a lot of the comic books as my... My grandpa Edgar left me a shit ton of comic books when I was a kid. When he died, and he left me his collection. There's some Fantastic Four ones in there, but I. Come on, man, that was cheap. And you start from the beginning. Come on. But anyway. I didn't really care for Fantastic Four. I thought they were kind of like the. I understood. I understood. I, I kind of understood what the creator was going for. Stan Lee. I think. He, yeah. I think he was. He was the one that created Fantastic Four, amongst other many, many, many Marvel superheroes. He's in a ca He has a cameo in every fucking Marvel movie. Of course, if I have my facts wrong, I always correct them anyway when I go into editing, so you'll see it on, on the screen here. But, Fantastic Four, I just was never interested in it. I thought it was like a... I've never died that many times on one of those fucking alligator guys with spears. This is fucking ridiculous. You guys see what I'm going up against here? <laughs> But, um, this, is, this game is very hard to do some sort of narrative and fucking play at the same time. I'm probably gonna have to, I'm probably gonna need to continue at some point. I have been drinking, too. I, I had a few beers in me before I started playing this, so. Um, going back to Fantastic Four and the comic book and whatever, uh, Fantastic Four was never subject that really interested me and I just died again, but I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm just gonna keep dying anyway. But, uh, Silver Surfer, I knew some of his background. He came from a different planet, and he made some sort of deal with Galactus, the, the devourer of planets, or if you saw Fantastic Four 2 Rise of the Silver Surfer, he was portrayed, Galactus was portrayed as like this big fucking cloud. Which I didn't really, 
not a whole lot of people like that. I didn't really give a shit because I didn't like Fantastic Four anyway, but I thought the movie was alright. But, um... Silver Surfer made a deal with him to be his... Uh, a scout for other planets. So Galactus could devour other planets until he came to Earth and met the Fantastic Four. And... He helped spare Earth and... Come on, man. You gotta be on, like, a certain plane with that fucking thing. You know what I mean? I'm looking at the fucking view screen of my camera right now, and it actually looks like a Silver Surfer, like, screenshot. Like, holy shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's the, the Silver Surfer. He was, Galactus granted him, like, this surfboard that could go through space at, like, lightning speed. With metallic, like, nearly invincible skin. And then he met the Fantastic Four, and then they saved Earth, blah, blah, blah. But then he was, like, exiled to Earth or some shit like that? I really don't know. Because, once again, Fantastic Four, I don't give a shit about the Fantastic Four. But, we're gonna talk about this game. Even though I don't give a shit about Fantastic Four, this game has quite a reputation amongst the YouTube retro gaming community. Why? I keep I My son Connor watched me get through this fucking level. I know I can do it. If I can just fucking concentrate. All I want to do is just beat one fucking level in this game. I know I can beat this level at least. Any of you say I'm sucking, go out and play it yourself once. I've only seen a few people that can really fucking, like, beat this game. It's not really like your typical, uh, 2D shooter either. It, the background is your fucking enemy as well. You cannot touch anything. You gotta be very fucking careful on what you touch. And you just gotta keep shooting shit everywhere. You're never safe. It's almost like fucking uh, Milwaukee with the Black Lives Matter protest shit going on right now. <laughs> oh man, I have a feeling I'm gonna get some hate mail for that one. Wouldn't be the first time though. I've never died that many times on one of those alligator guys. I need, I need a drink. Give me a second here. Fucking Silver Surfer, man. Yeah, honestly, if um, if it wasn't for James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, I wouldn't have even known or uh, known about or even remembered a lot of these games. Reason being is because Silver Surfer, in a lot of my other videos, I mentioned. Uh, this, uh, like, convenience store I used to go to where my dad used to rent me, uh, Nintendo games when I was a kid. Out in my small town where I used to live in the Osho. And some games I would rent, some games I wouldn't. Silver Surfer was actually one of the games I was there. Never rented it. Because I didn't... It's like I said, I... I will get past this part, okay? Oh, man. I'm already going on 10 minutes? Yeah, I am. I... Okay. But Silver, Silver Surfer was one of those games where... It's like I didn't... I already knew I didn't like the Fantastic Four. Some, my dad's like, okay, pick out some games you want to rent. And Fantastic Four was amongst some of the games. I remember... Uh, I specifically remember... Fantastic Four and uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street being there, and I rented A Nightmare on Elm Street instead. Looking back, this game is still challenging, and it's very fun at my age to actually, like, go and play this game. 
after the reputation it has gotten on YouTube. But honestly, I'm as a kid, I'm glad I rented Nightmare on Elm Street over this because I think I would have really gotten pissed off at this game as a kid. I was never much for 2D shooters when I was a kid. I grew to like them more as an adult, and just like this game, I've oh see, I fucking dodged them that time. But this game, I really just really want to do a video of. I really wanted to fucking play, and I have been playing it on and off uh, for the last couple months now with my son Connor, just to see how far I could get. Just to see if I could get anywhere on it, like some of the other YouTubers have done. And I've only been able to beat this level. And right now I'm not having much luck because my contacts are all dried up. I just got done playing uh, Contra. I did a part four to that video. I just got done a lot with a lot of video editing. I put in uh, a lot of overtime this week at the factory. I got like four hours of sleep the other night. And I'm playing this off of that and drinking at the, at the same time, so I'm not on my game when it comes to Silver Server right now. But I would at least like to beat at least one fucking level of this goddamn game. And I, I'm only on one life, so once I die, this video is over like frogs and shit. Yeah, and I got the power up. If you press B, you can change the direction of where the power up uh, shoots. But I found if you just keep it in front of you, that's the best possible method, and I just lost my fucking power up now because I crashed into a goddamn wall! If there's one thing I can say about this, I love this fucking song. If if you go watch uh, another one of my Glenn plays videos where I play the fucking uh, the SpongeBob plug and play game, there's a game where uh, you're playing as Sandy, and it's like this, only it's under the ocean. I use this song in that video when Sam when I'm playing as Sandy, like shooting shit, and it goes with the. The, the game pretty well, too. It's really, really funny. But this game has, like, phenomenal music. I love the... the, the, the blah, blah. I got screwed up because I just died right there. Alright. I wish I didn't have to start here again. Like if yeah, the music. No matter what, the music is awesome. They did a really great job with the music, and I just died again. That's game over, isn't it? Yep. Video went on for 15 minutes. I mean, I, I, I could show you guys some of the other levels. Just quick, just to show you some of the levels, because I already knew I wasn't going to make it that far. Let's look at some of the other levels. This is Mephisto's level. Holy shit. This is the Emperor's level. You can never really distinguish, I mean, what you're shooting at. None of these, like, top, just a lot of top scrolling levels in this game, too. 
And it's all the same shit. You don't know what what's background, what's not, what you can shoot at, what you can't. Sometimes it just seems like they fly out of fucking nowhere, like the missiles that shoot out of these guys. This is Fire Lord's level. You cannot fucking touch anything. See, shit flies at you without any fucking warning. There's like things that fucking come out of the water and shit. Holy shit, like, look at this. I mean, at least the music is cool, like, you get your blood pumping and shit. Use a professor's lab, too. This is where it gets really balls, like, look at this shit. This takes 2D shooters to the whole new extreme, like, this shit just like flies all over the fucking screen. Like, what if I did this to you? Could you fucking keep up with me then? Like, that's how this fucking game is. Holy fuck! It's like the shit follows you all over the goddamn screen. Unless you honestly fucking go and remember every fucking pattern. Like, look at that! That was all over the fucking screen. Every little area I could possibly get to. Anyway, that was the Silver Surfer on the NES. What is there to say? Like, I just, I like the game for the challenge. Because countless other YouTube personalities have tried this game. A lot of them ended up failing seen a few of them end, ending up beating the game. I'm not going to beat the game. I'm not a pro gamer. I've already said it in the, the last couple of videos, the Contra videos. I'm not a pro gamer. I love video games, but I'm not a pro at them. And I have, over the years, come to really appreciate the 2D side-scrolling, top-scrolling uh, 2D shooter genre. I've always loved Galaga and Galaxian and stuff like that. So you'd think I'd love something like this, but this goes beyond difficult. This is just outright fucking crazy. Like, looking at this game, even by today's standards of, like, newer video games and shit, this is just fucking insane. Like, dumbfounded. That's the best way I could put how I am towards this game. Like, dumbfounded how this could be. If I had enough time to devote to it, I would I really would lo love to go through each one of these levels and beat every fucking one of them. You know, memorize every fucking enemy's patterns and shit, but... It's all about madness. That's what Silver Surfer for the NES is, it's all about madness. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next Monday for a different game. I don't know what I'm gonna be playing next. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, see you later, people.